flight director Ty Huntington telling the team we are go for launch. So 20 seconds to go. Let's listen in. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. seconds into flight we are feeling the rumble we are seeing 33 out of 33 raptor engines ignited on the super heavy booster booster and ship avionics power and telemetry nominal acquisition of signal corpus christi we're continuing to get good call outs our trajectory Matthew. looking nominal systems looking nominal just amazing to see all 33 lit up once again At this point, we've already passed through max Q, that maximum dynamic pressure, and passing supersonic, so we're now moving faster than the speed of sound, getting those onboard views from the ship cameras. Now, the, the next major milestone is going to be a hot staging maneuver. Again, we're going to be doing that in just about 90 seconds. To do that, we're going to shut down all but the three center Raptor engines on Super Heavy. That'll be our Miko, our most engines cut off, and then the clean it away. And that will start carrying the ship into space. Booster will start to do its flip Acquisition and then move into the boost back burn, setting it up Start for eventual splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Hot staging confirmed. Booster's now making its way signal. back, yeah. seeing six engines ignited on ship. Kate, we got a Starship on its way to space and a booster on the way back to the Gulf. Oh man, uh, I need a moment to pick my jaw up from the floor because these views are just stunning. Uh, these are live views from Starship back towards the coast, taking it to a landing in the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we're uh, only using the Super Heavy Booster's 13 center engines from here on out. Uh, as Whenever they relight, you'll be able to see that in the left bottom corner. Uh, those are the ones that can gimbal. In other words, they move and change direction uh, in order to change the thrust to steer the first stage back to Earth. Center for splashdown. Let's see if that'll work. We're getting a few, a few engines. Attempting to learn um, and to make it that far to demonstrate the controlled re-entry up to that point is pretty darn good. Ship continuing to look nominal with its ascent burn this burn lasting uh, about six minutes total. And we're expecting that this burn will end uh, just after T- Well, or, I'm sorry, it actually, it already has. Um, engine cut off. There we go. <laughs>
atmosphere. This is where the Earth's atmosphere is doing the work to slow us down. Uh, now, like we said, this plasma field wow. is, wow, what a view. We hope to maintain these views throughout. Starship is so big that we're hoping that the plasma field doesn't entirely blanket the entire vehicle. Right now, it is not. The Starlinks are still... Views brought to you by Starlink. <laughs> yeah, the Starlinks are still communicating and still uh, capturing the data and the video that we see here. I mean, Shiva, this is just absolutely incredible views. We've never seen anything like this before. This is the, the biggest flying object ever in space. <laughs> absolutely, Kate. And, and it's important to note, with the ascent burn that we did was to get us to orbital velocities, even though we were on a nearly orbital trajectory. So the heating and the loads that Starship is going through right now are what it would be getting if it were recovering from an orbital mission. And, and just the fact that we have views through entry, this is incredible. Yeah, again, this is the furthest and fastest that Starship has ever flown. And you can definitely tell by the, uh, the crowd here in Hawthorne. The heat shield tiles doing their work. We talked about it earlier. Uh, up to 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit that those heat chill tiles are dissipating.